what's up you guys joshua the go Kalkin channel and today i've got a special video for you that's going to help me continue to push through with this speed run game and you guys already know what it is by the title but first let me show you guys this let me move that package out the way just because my address is there but got this in the mail um waterproof savix sw2290 sg very powerful servo this is going in a particular RC you guys are going to see in a future video. And I'll say you've seen this before. Um, but that came from AUE Race Hobbies. Of course, I will add that to our sticker wall of just things that I've purchased over, uh, over the years. And if you guys are wondering what these other stickers are for, I'm going to let you guess. And you guys let me know what you think. But anyways, let me go ahead and get this package opened up so you guys can see what's in there. And we'll go ahead and get started. Well, you guys already know what's in there. It's the tire truer. But I'm going to do like a quick little review. I've never done tire truers before. So this will be new for me. I'll take you guys along. And we'll do a couple tires together. And you guys will see what that's like. All right. Enjoy the video. we got our unboxing knife. And yes, it is dull as hell. <laughs> that protective packaging all right my receipt and for those interested um everything i got the tire truer the adapter and then the nicer cutting tip all 321 dollars and 97 cents american dollar of course he provides a card that's cool and if you guys want to check them out um let's see website well, you can email them, sales at michaelsrchobbies.com, but it's michaelsrchobbies.com, or you can buy this, and I will link this in the description. Um, so here's our 17 millimeter adapter. Cool. The, is this carbide? Let's see, final cut, tire truer cutting bit. Don't remember exactly what material that was. I knew it was very, very strong. So this is pretty heavy. This runs on 12 volt, but I'm gonna see if my 13.8 um, volt will, will run it. All right, so we've got this documentation, shows everything that it comes with. Hopefully it's already put together, but let's see for angle cuts, loose and screw under base. Okay, good deal. And I guess if you need to replace any parts, Hopefully you can just look one of these parts up online or contact them and uh, they can send you a replacement. But this is very tightly packaged. I like that. I don't like, you know, these giant boxes wasting so much space. There we go. Grab my base, slide it out. Some foam here. Some protective equipment or bubble wrap over the guard there. Really nice. Simple one off switch. Looks like that's the smaller adapter. Yeah. Smaller wheels, bigger wheels, so that's the one we, we purchased separately. And I'll have to go in and take a look at all of these. This fell out, I'm not sure if that's important. I will keep that there. And then, of course, for power, you can clip that to 12 volts. So let me go ahead and familiarize myself with this, and then I'll turn the video camera back on. All right, you guys, so I also found this little washer here that seemed to have fallen from somewhere. But anyways, let me go ahead and just show you guys what I know to this point. Let me take the camera off so you guys can see a little better. So it looks like there are some indicators right inside of here that will show how many millimeters from the where the wheel's gonna be mounted on to that point. So you can move this in or out and you can see there's 100 millimeters, 90. So the closer you get, the smaller the tire diameter is gonna be. Now on this side, you can see that if you're set at zero pointing straight up, 
and maybe you're not really going by that, but you know you need to go, you know, half a millimeter in, you can turn that clockwise, which makes that go inwards, turn that clockwise half a millimeter, and then run the cutter through, and you know that's how much material you're gonna be taking off. So that's really cool, I like that. And then up here, once you get this set, you tighten that down, and that won't turn any more than just that little bit. So this looks like the wheel to connect back here to turn it. You got four rubber feet to put underneath there. All right, so I got the rubber feet on the bottom. That just need a little bit of convincing to get pushed on. and makes a nice stable base. And I was wrong on the grub screw. It actually goes to here to keep that on. So no location for the washer and this piece here. So we should be good without it. And I double checked all the screws all around the whole thing and everything seems to be really well put together. And now I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the bit for the upgraded bit. And then instead of putting on this uh, adapter, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. There. Okay. That looks good and I'm clear of that in there. I didn't want the back of that to rub. So, perfect. Now, I believe we're ready. So, I know from watching other videos that these things can be very, very messy. So what I'm gonna do is move this over to the front of the garage. I'm just gonna put it inside of a bigger box so that all of the foam can be contained within that. And of course, I'll move the camera over so you guys can see. Over here. that wheel on there all the way. All right, right now, loosen this up. See what we're set to. So here's 105 millimeters, which I'm just gonna set that to start. And then I'm gonna test. Um, this only goes to 100, but I'll get a different one to test. Uh, I've got everything hooked up and turned on. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna shut that off for a second. It looks like it would be cutting a little too much to start. So let me actually Back this up a bit. There we go. Seems like it takes a second to get all of its power. And you guys can hear it's not really cutting on the way back. It's doing a very, very fine pass, which is good. That tells me that this is spinning really, really true. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually stop this recording, start again, I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see, but I'm gonna increase the, uh, the amount of cutting so we can get a little bit closer. Oh, let me also test the, uh, just kind of eyeballing it here, just cause I can't go completely across it. Looks like we are just under, there we go. 100 centimeters. That'd be 100, 100 millimeters. Or I'm sorry, 10 centimeters, that'd be 100 millimeters. But I can't be for sure. Let me remove this. Or 
remove that from the matter. 10.1 centimeters. Right there was 105. So the dial may be a little off. However, the best thing to do, take a little bit off, you check it, and then use this, like I mentioned earlier in the video, to go in by one millimeter at a time and then confirm on this side. That's what I would do. And then, of course, the last thing you would want to do, you know, if this is spinning, this is spinning towards us like this. So we would want to round out the corners. So with the rotation spinning towards us, we would hold a bit of sandpaper here and here to just round those out. And that's it. I think it's going to work out great. I'm going to go through and do all four of my wheels, get them down to about 100 mil and see what that looks like and test the fitment. The last thing I want to mention, um, yeah, I hope it would go without saying, but I'm going to say it. Make sure that you have this cover over under normal operating um, procedure. So I had this cover removed just to demonstrate. Of course, you may have to remove the cover in order to round out the corners of the wheels. Now that I've trued the wheels, to about 100 mil, um, rounded out the edges. Last thing I'm gonna do is balance the tires. Now there's other videos out there if you're interested in knowing exactly how to do it, especially with this particular tool, I'll link it in the description, but um, I'll allow some others online. They already have videos on how to balance. And if you guys are interested in that, you know, just look them up on YouTube. If you stuck around for the end of the video, um, here is the other RC car I got. You might be kind of mad about this, but <laughs> me personally, it's what I wanted. Of course, I have the Speed Run Limitless. The, the sole purpose of this one is to get as much speed as possible. My goal is to hit, hit 150. However, I still want a road bashing machine. I thought about getting the infraction. I thought about getting the, um, what was it, the felony. But instead, you know, I love the Limitless so much. I got another Limitless. So I am going to set this up with the Castle uh, MMX 8S that actually pulled out of the, um, the X-Max. It's in here somewhere. And then I've got a 1717 motor. Um, the motor that I originally had in the Limitless, I ended up putting in the Creighton. I got another one of those motors, so I could put that in. And then I got the waterproof servo, not because it's going to run in the water at all, but I just wanted the best version of the same servo that I've got in here. This is not a waterproof one. The other one is. So, yeah. That, uh, excuse my cold face, but uh, that's what I'm going to... Um, go ahead and put together. I'm not going to do another video about that because I actually already have that videos, you know, setting up step-by-step -step guide of the limitless, but I wanted something I could just bash around the street and just go fast. And, you know, maybe I'll turn it into a drag car. Maybe not. I think honestly, I'm just going to focus on just having fun on the street with it and bringing those kind of videos to you guys. Sometimes you just like to be able to drift around and speed around a parking lot. And, uh, I want to bring that content as well as the speed run stuff and, and everything else I want to bring it to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.